Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Geek and Gorgeous Liquid Hydration Toner. And as the name it already says, it is a hydrating toner that can be used daily in the morning as well as evening. Now the main active ingredient is 5% of Pantanol, which is important to emphasize since this can help you to hydrate and soothe the skin and it helps to calm irritated, sensitive or even retinous prone skin. Or to some extent if you have a slightly damaged skin barrier to get it back on track and so you can use it on all skin types and it can be used on its own or use it along with any other skincare products which you may be already using this one does not conflict with anything it is an hydrating and soothing toner and I have prepared for you again some PowerPoint slides so that you can see a setup of a morning as well as evening skincare routine when to include the toner as well as what a combination can look like so that you can see it visually you can can download the example skin routines in the description box down below and you can even edit them and basically make up your own morning as well as evening skin routine so that you can see it visually and remember the steps and so I want to quickly go over the morning as well as evening routine and then I want to share with you the entire application so we are going to get started with a morning skin routine again the first step is important please make sure to properly wash your face even if it's just with lukewarm water in the morning this can work really well or just use a gentle cleanser in this case for example geek and gorgeous jelly jogger cleanser it's great for all skin types or choose one that's specifically like adjusted accordingly to your skin needs wash your face rinse it off pat the skin dry then immediately move on to the next step which is applying the liquid hydration toner either with a cotton pad or with your hands and then gently apply it all over and once you have applied it you're going to leave it on the skin there's no need to wash it off and then if you still should feel the need depending on your overall skin needs or overall concerns you can add any serums or treatments to this routine as well layer from the thinnest to the thickest texture apply to the skin leave it on the skin and then follow on with either immediately a sunscreen or use a moisturizer that already contains SPF or use a separate moisturizer and then follow with your sunscreen afterwards and sunscreen during daytime is important to prevent any premature aging sun damaged skin or overall getting a sunburn when being exposed to the sun for too long. If you want to see a specific infographic about the sunscreen itself, what's important to remember, you will find it in the description box down below. When it comes to an evening skincare routine, it's basically the same setup without the sun protection and you may need to adjust your sun or your cleansing step. So with the cleanser, if you have used a sunscreen that easily removes from the skin, such as Cosrx Always Soothing Sunscreen, then you can just use your daily gentle cleanser. This should be strong enough to properly remove it from the skin. However, if you're working with a mineral sunscreen or water resistant sunscreen, that one like may need something stronger and this is where we're recommend doing a double cleansing method so either use micellar water at first and then your gentle cleanser or use at first your oil or balm cleanser and then your gentle cleanser properly wash your face make sure that you can everything rinse off and then you can again immediately move on to the hydrating toner and the serums if you like to include them and then your moisturizer at the end if you still should feel the need now everywhere where you can see optional you do not have to include this step but you can it is fine to just just use this cleanser on its own as well you do not have to add any other serums or treatments to it if you are just looking into hydration itself and so this would be an example setup and now I want to quickly go over a very simple straightforward routine so that you can see the application as well so again we're going to get started with the most important step which is washing your face so use a gentle cleanser or a specific cleanser for your skin concerns and overall like skin type I'm going to use Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker great for all skin types it's very gentle and soothing to the skin however if you have a different one like exchange it that's completely fine just make sure to read the directions on the back of the packaging on how you should use the cleanser since the directions can sometimes change depending on the cleanser that you're using you can wash your face above the sink or take your cleanser with you in the shower depending on your habits and when you're going to shower anyway this can work really well too and it's very convenient so in this example I need to wet my face at first and then I'm going to apply the cleanser onto wet skin so let's go ahead and do this then use about a coin size amount on the palm of your hand or about one to two pumps depending on the cleanser that you're using 
about that much, more or less. Rub your hands together and then gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Please read on the back of the packaging if you can use it around the eyes or if you should avoid it, then I recommend following that specific guide. And please make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. If that's the case, rinse it with water. So once you have massaged the cleanser all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and again rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water by either just using your hands or if you still should need some help, use a soft and fresh washcloth in between which you're going to wet and this can help you to make sure that there's no residue left that you can get it properly off the skin. So now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So and once you're done with your cleansing step and you have pat the skin dry, you can immediately move on to the next step. Now the next step can already be immediately the application of Geek & Gorgeous Hydrating Toner. However, you can add an exfoliating toner or zone to this routine as well. There's no issue with it and you can either use it before applying the hydrating and soothing toner or afterwards, which depends on your personal preference or you have benefits on both sides. If you're going to use the exfoliant at first, it helps to shed off the dead skin cells before applying any other products afterwards which then can penetrate better into the skin or you can do it the other way around where you're going to use a toner at first which can help you to buffer it a bit so that the exfoliant isn't as harsh on the skin. So go ahead and balance it depending on your personal preference and the exfoliant that you're using but both ways are fine to do. So when applying Geek & Gorgeous Liquid Hydration Toner, first of all give it a good shake. And then you can either apply it with your hands or with a cotton pad. Now either way is fine, depends on your preference. When applying it with a cotton pad, use about a coin size amount. I do not recommend soaking the entire cotton pad all up because then you're going to end up with too much product and then your skin can feel easily wet but not slightly damp and then you may come across any like other uncomfortable feelings or issues when layering other products afterwards. So use about that much more or less for your face and neck and then gently swipe it across your face and neck. It should feel slightly damp, you should be able to blend it all over and and it should be able to properly absorb into the skin. It shouldn't sit on top of the skin surface. When applying it with your hands, use about 10 drops. This can be adjusted. This is just a general guide that I'm now sharing with you so that you have an idea of with how much you should get started. If you feel like it's not enough, you cannot properly blend it further down. You can use a bit more, but please do not overdo it. It should need to absorb into the skin. Then rub your hands together and gently blend it all over your face and neck. Please make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. So, and once you have applied the toner all over, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now you can stop right here and this can already be your evening skincare routine if that's basically just what your skin needs. Then go ahead and stop right here and then just doing daytime don't forget to follow with sun protection. However, if you now say well I have other skin concerns which I wanted to target as well and therefore I want to work with serums or like overall treatments then go ahead and do so. As already mentioned this toner does not conflict with any other skincare products which you may have at home so you're fine to combine them. And so when it comes to specific 
specific treatments layer from the thinnest to the thickest texture. So if you have a very thin water-like zeromatone with a dropper, use between five to eight drops for your face and neck. If you have a zeromatone that has a bit more of a thinner texture, but still you have some time to blend it over your face and neck, use between four to six drops. And if you have a sticky, like thicker zeom, use between two to three drops. This is just an overall general guide. If you're working with gels or lotion-like textures treatments, use about a pea size amount for your face and neck. And again, layer from the thinnest to the thickest texture. And so once you have applied your zone and overall treatment, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And then you can move on in the evening as well as morning, depending on your overall setup of the routine. You can follow on with a moisturizer. Make sure that you're using a moisturizer that's working well for your skin type and overall needs and it feels comfortable on the skin. And just use a moisturizer if you really feel the need of using one because depending on the other treatments and the toner itself you may not feel the need of using an additional moisturizer afterwards and that's completely fine to skip it but if you do use one make sure that it's working well for you and that it feels comfortable on the skin so i'm going to use polystyrene omega plus complex moisturizer it's great for normal to dry skin however i do believe this one works great for all skin types just based on how it feels on the skin and then use about a bean size amount more or less about that much more or less so that you can evenly and thinly apply your moisturizer all over. So, and once you have applied your moisturizer, you're going to leave it on skin, there's no need to wash it off. And this can be the end of an evening skincare routine, or you now doing daytime can follow on with your sunscreen. If you want to know more about how you can properly apply your sunscreen, I have a specific guide for you in the top right corner. And don't forget, it is fine to also switch to a moisturizer that already contains SPF, or just skip the moisturizer and immediately apply your sunscreen afterwards. This depends on your overall like feeling of the sunscreen, as well as your skin skin type if you should feel the need to add another additional moisturizer in between. Now this is what I wanted to share with you on how you can properly use Geek and Gorgeous Liquid Hydration Toner and I do hope that you find it helpful, that you enjoyed it. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it and thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring! Bye!